Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and it's officially been one full year since Armor of Forger entered Early Access. With that milestone, the devs have put out DevBlog 17 to celebrate everything that's passed and to prepare us for what is to come. I will cover that DevBlog over the course of today's video, but I'd like to start by saying it's crazy to think it's already been a year since this title released. And with one year under its belt already, I'm excited to continue covering updates and other news for Reforger into yet another year. So the majority of this dev vlog was reviewing what we already know and what was added to the game, as many dev vlogs really tend to be. In this review, I think they explained certain features quite well, so I figured I may as well bring up their explanations here to clarify some questions on that regard. So first, they explained the detonation weight of the mines, stating, The operating pressure ranges from 150 kilograms to 500 kilograms. It's worth noting that individual soldiers cannot activate the mines, but be cautious because even fused mines can explode if hit by a bullet. Next, they talked about the implementation of the automatic rate connection system, and how it will be temporarily deactivated to allow some fixing, as there currently is a bug that occurs with it occasionally, which results in a reconnection that then results in a desync. Following that, they talked about raising player limits in rounds, stating, We have raised the player limits for servers, allowing community servers to accommodate up to 128 players. This decision was made to provide you with greater freedom and flexibility when it comes to your servers. Please note, the official servers will maintain their player limits of either 64 or 32 players. This is because, in terms of performance, the conflict mode is not capable of supporting such a large number of players and AI entities simultaneously. They then switched gears to talk about what they wish to do for the future. One of their prime improvements they are working on is overhauling respawning, including better UI, respawn protections, and respawning in vehicles, amongst other things. Next, they intend on increasing the importance of economy and supplies, with a greater integration into the game, allowing for, in turn, a greater support from logistical-focused operations. Finally, they close out with a more transparency-based announcement regarding their progress towards fixing crashes, emphasizing the importance of the usage of their crash reporter. Overall, this dev wad was just a nice, casual reminder of what progress has been made in the last few weeks, one with a small teaser as to what's to come, with a mini-celebration for the occasion. Happy one-year anniversary, Reforger, but that's all I've really got for y'all today. As always, this has been Christopher Beast, and if you are looking for people to play Armor Reforger with, or people to just relax and hang out with, i got a link to my Discord down below. But I hope to see you all, well, next time.